I can identify it just like with the general um, sort of styles. I can identify with a few of these as well as a mom. Um, but I think if I had to pick one for myself, I would probably put myself in the exhausted category because I feel that's where I spend most of my time. And if you look around my home, and I will not show you for sheer embarrassment, but <laughs> if you look around my home, it is far from what I know I need to create. Um, and that's my struggle. Um, Dr. Shafali, in one of the earlier interviews for this program, asked me about um, how tidy am I? And I said to 50% of the time, and she laughed and she said, you could have said 75. <laughs> but I feel like, I feel like that there is 50% of the time when I'm happy, that it's, it's an okay level of calmness. But the other 50% of the time, I'm manically trying to get it back to that, that state. And it doesn't feel like there is a calm space, not even one space, that actually just maintains that level of calm. And so that's what I think I'd like us to be able to work out. How do we move? How do we make that shift from, from the space that we've identified to whichever of those styles we would hold as a goal for ourselves? How do we then begin to create that organizational style or system that can stand the test of time? Sure. So once once you can fit yourself into either that one of those general organizing categories or the mum organizing style, yeah. that's where you should start because okay. ultimately you should work with what your, your personality yes. already is. Now, I will guarantee in every single home there is one area that is organized. One. It may be <laughs> under the kitchen sink. Okay. It may be your makeup collection. Okay. It may be, um, I don't know, something related to your business or your work. Yes. Maybe your jewelry. Something that you really love. Maybe it's a hobby. Something that, you know, it will be organized. Yeah. But what essentially what you need to do is you need to look at that thing and work out why that is working mm. for you. Now, how you do that is this, you step back and you actually analyze what's going on. Mm. Okay, so if I take um, take makeup, for example, maybe you've got, you know, lovely containers and everything's, you know, beautiful. The thing that might be working about that is that everything's segmented. You know, you've got all your powders mm. together or your eye makeups together, for example, or your lipsticks together. Maybe it's segmented into some kind of categories. Mm. So you actually analyze what's working. So then if you take that and say you look at a space that isn't working, so say we look at the office mm. and we go, okay, well, from what I noticed with my makeup is I've got all these categories and I've, you know, put them in groups, if you like. So if I go to my office, I go, okay, what's wrong here? Well, the, what's wrong is I've got papers all mixed on top mm. of each other. I've got client files all mixed on top of each other. I've got children's pieces of paper and so on. So analyze what's wrong with it and, and look at what's working in that makeup right. space. Come up with a strategy and you go, okay, well, in the makeup, I've got all my powders together. So, okay, in the office, I'll put all my client files together. Right. And then I'll put all my student, my children's school notes yeah. together and so on. So you've analyzed the problem, you've come up with a strategy to do it, and then you get in and you attack it. And that's the mm. organizing work. And quite often that is where people start. They go to the they go to the shop and they go, I've got to buy lots of boxes or lots yes. of folders or lots of something. <laughs> and they bring it home and then they try and go, Oh my gosh, I'll shove it all in there and then I'm organized. Yeah. It's the it's like the cart before the horse. Right. <laughs> analyze okay. it first, come up with a strategy, analyze a problem, come up with a strategy and then get in and attack it. And you're saying and that's that, what will get you a good system. And you're saying that we will all have that. Because we will all have sure. at least one thing within our homes or our lives that we, we are holding organized. 